Welcome you all. This video session reveals you how to do problems in physics, especially electricity lesson is concerned. And this video is the extension of the previous one. I will give you the link in the description box. There I gave certain mnemonics to remember relations of V, I, R, Q and etc. Alright, look at these relations. And power is equal to very important. This is only the mnemonic. Look at the first letter P, V and I. But actually power is equal to voltage into current V into I. Here P is power and V is voltage and I is current. With this basic let us enter into the lesson. Also you have to remember the another important mnemonic that is Q is equal to I into T. Q is the charge. I is the current and T is the time. Work is equal to very quick. This is the mnemonic. You should not make it out. Work is equal to very quick is the original relation. But this is used only for the uh, easy remembrance purpose. W is equal to V into Q. W is work. V is voltage. And Q is charge. So W is equal to V into Q. Don't make it as your original relation. Work is equal to very quick. Okay. Now let us enter into the lesson. Also we know Ohm's law V is equal to I into R. V is the voltage and I current and R resistance. Suppose if you want the relation I then I is equal to V by R. You have to change this relation as for I is equal to V by R. And if you want the resistance R then you have to interchange the relation as V by I. Now let us enter into the problem. Look at this problem. A charge of 12 coulomb flows through a bulb in 5 seconds. What is the current through the bulb? Now you have to find out what are the important terms given. Charge it is Q. And current the related letter is I. What is the basic relation between Q and I? And Q is equal to it. We know that Q is equal to it. Now charge given as Q is equal to 12 coulomb and time T is equal to 5 seconds. So you have to combine these two terms and I is equal to Q by T is the basic relation. Then substitute for Q it is 12 coulomb and T it is 5. If you strike out these two numbers, then you will get the relation 2.4 ampere. You have to remember what is the unit for I and I is equal to 2.4A. These are all the very simple relations and equations. Then you have to try it with harder questions. Let us look at this problem. The work done in moving a charge of 10 coulomb across two points in a circuit is 100 joule. What is the potential difference between the two points? The related letter for work done is W and charge it is Q. So you have to remember the relation between W and Q. We already know that W is equal to V into Q. Remember the mnemonic work should be done very quick. You should not remember this as your original relation but the real relation is W is equal to V into Q that is the multiplication of voltage and the charge. And here it is C so it, you should not confuse that the work done is given as C. You know the unit for work done is joule and charge for C. So you have to take separately the letters and the related uh, numbers given according to the letters. Work done W is equal to 100 joule and Q is equal to 10 coulomb. Now we are going to find out the value of V as follows. Here given Q is equal to 10 coulomb and work done 100 joule. We know the relation between Q and W. Potential difference V is equal to W by Q. Previously we know that W is equal to V by Q and you have to interchange the relation as V is equal to W by Q. What is given for W? This is 100 and for Q it is 10. Then you have to cancel these two zeros accordingly then you will get V is equal to 10 volt. V is equal to 10 volt is the answer for this question. Come to the next case. Calculate the resistance of a conductor through which a current of 2 ampere passes when the potential difference between it ends is 30 volt. Now let us come to the solution. Current through the conductor I is given as 2 ampere and the potential difference V is given as 30 volt. And you have to remember the Ohm's law that is Ohm's law is V is equal to I into R. But here what is given I and V already given. So you have to predict that R should be the answer we have to find out. R is equal to V by I. What is given for V it is 30 and for I it is 2. So you have to strike it out these two 
uh, numbers then you will get O is equal to 15 ohm is the answer for this question these are all the very easy relations and you have to search some more important difficult questions and find out the answer so answering to the problems in electricity and related physics lessons is not that much harder as you think previously you have to know the relations and the unit properly then it will be easier to write the answers thank you thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt then you can comment in the comment box thank you